Hello and welcome back to the, uh, hopefully what's going to be left of the family farm. It's currently eight, five o'clock in the morning and uh, we're just on the edge of town at the moment watching what could be a very expensive problem for us. We've got the tractor, we're going to not get any closer but that's sort of somewhere near our uh, outlying barn at the moment if it starts to move this way we're going to make a run for it because we can't actually see it moving which quite often means it's coming towards us <coughs> all right let's just uh, see if we can get a bit closer, probably one of the stupid things we could do with the tornado. It just seems to be centred right over the uh, fields of ours down there at the moment. away from us thankfully this way but we'll head back home now I'm not convinced which direction that thing is moving in get out of it and uh, join me again in the morning we'll have a look what damage has been caused hopefully none but we shall see well, welcome back to the morning after the night before. The house and yard are still standing, so we've had a lucky escape up here with the tornado. That gives us a chance just to show you our new investments up here. So we've got our uh, goat milk processing plant here. Part of the diversification project to bring some more money in. So we're bottling the milk and uh, also making some other products from it using this. Now we also kept back a few, uh, well, a few bits of sunflowers, I should say, small quantity of sunflower seed back. We've got a small oil mill here as well. We'll be just making our own oil. Again, trying to maximise our income. As you can see the weather hasn't really improved much, thankfully the wind has dropped, it's just a bit wet still. The real question is what damage was done down in the town? So we need to go down and have a look and see. I'm always worried to go down and have a look. Can't take the uh, farm trucks. That's full of seed. Won't be doing anything in the fields for a little while at the moment. The goats are all looking happy anyway. 
fields look absolutely saturated though. Need to get and put some fertilizer on our wheat there. I didn't even try running on there currently. signs of damage up this part of the farm. We're coming into town for this direction. I can't see damage yet. So it looks like the town might have been very lucky. Oh, we're starting to see some damage now. Some damaged trees there. Heading down in the direction of our other field. So a few damaged trees in the town here. No damaged buildings. Glad we haven't got this field drilled down here. damage any further down this direction. The damage seems to start up in the town centre. Damaged trees start near the uh, grain silos. Run through here. wasn't drilled thankfully. So it looks like it's gone straight through the middle of it. Just not going to try and deal with those trees ourselves. I do wonder where the rest of the trees ended up. It's gone straight across there by the looks of it. It's straight through the middle of our corn maize stubble over there. Straight up the hill looks to me like we haven't actually suffered too much damage. Three broken trees is all we've got. We've done very well. Our barn looks okay over there. It's missed everything of ours. Huge sigh of relief to be breathed there. the middle of the field. So the trail of destruction just through here. safe to say all is well this is not a lot else we can do at the moment just need the weather to dry up 
So I guess with that all in mind, that's where we're going to have to leave this video. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this slightly different video. We'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.